You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host today. I have Andy Martin here with me, and we are talking youth, and we are talking jobs. That's right. Um, we have, it's not easy for me to say, yes, youth can. I'm going to have to say it slowly, not three times. Um, you have a jobs rally coming up. It's actually the seventh that's been done, correct? This is the seventh uh, since 2009. This is my third. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the Youth Jobs Coalition... Uh, has been in existence since 2009. Okay, and what's going to happen that day? Um, we have different people that have worked here and currently work here and people that worked in other places that have been involved in this spectacular event. Tell us about it. Yes, uh, it is It is indeed a spectacular event. So uh, on the 19th, uh, which is next, uh, which is Thursday uh, of February, yep. um, we are going to march from the Old South Church in Boston uh, a group of youth from Brockton, that is, uh, to the State House. Um, all the kids are going to bring signs, and we are going to uh, to chant things like "Yes, youth can," to uh, to raise the level of energy, and uh, to get kids really excited about the cause that we're um, that we're that we're there for. We are going to the State House to advocate for uh, funding in the state budget for youth employment programs, uh, specifically the Youth Works program, which fund summer jobs for kids who are low income in gateway cities. Now, um, in the past, um, we're talking about it's been going on for seven years. Most of those seven years has been one governor, Governor Deval Patrick. Mm -hmm. He is no longer in office. He ended his term. He didn't run for re-election. We have a new governor, Charlie Baker. Charlie Baker is a Republican. Now, I have heard in the media, and hopefully I'm wrong, I'm hearing that because of the budget shortfalls, they're looking at youth jobs as a cut. I hope that's not true. So there is a small decrease in the proposed, the, the 9C cuts. Mm -hmm. um, there is a small decrease, but um, it, it hopefully won't affect us too much. Um, it's, nothing, it's not going to be anything compared to what we underwent during the recession, which is actually why the Youth Jobs Coalition started, was as a result of the severe budget cuts to youth employment programs as a result of the recession, which left a lot of kids out of work who, who were anticipating uh, having access to jobs for the summer. Now, I know here in Brockton, um, different mayor's offices have been involved with, with Bay Web and, and, and you know, your organization to, to get kids employed for the summer. I've met a lot of these kids. They, we have a Brockton After Dark program that they work in mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, I think these kids are impressive. I think when they go up there, everything that I've seen, and, and, and Jay, who works here at BCA, rides the bus with them. We go up there on the bus That's right. and get to see them in action. How can anybody cut kids if they're actually there? I think that's probably the whole point of doing this, correct? Right, and I think a lot of people will say, you know, uh, kids, kids can find jobs other way, in other ways, um, and, you know, it's taxpayer money and things like that. But when you look at the uh, added value that the youth jobs funding brings to a community, especially distressed communities like Brockton um, and other gateway cities, it's, it's really a no-brainer. Not only are you preparing these kids for the future workforce, you are also contributing money to the local economy. A lot of these kids are just spending, you know, they typically spend their, most of their paycheck on um, necessities like food and clothes and things like that. Um, and, you know, you're, you're, really just, you're really just circulating the money in the local economy. And you're also uh, providing a lot of kids jobs who otherwise wouldn't have because, you know, say, say market basket. A lot of the paychecks might go to Market Basket, who actually hire a good percentage of their workforce as young people. Mm -hmm. um, so you're really doing several things by, by including this funding in the state budget. Now walk us through the day. Tell us what's going to happen. They're going to board a bus in Brockton. Where? At the Boys and Girls Club. Good community partner. Absolutely. Yeah. At 9 a.m. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to take off at about 10 a.m. Uh, to hopefully be there by 11 uh, at the Old South Church. Mm -hmm. From there, uh, we will hear from several people. Typically, there's uh, some elected officials, either either city city of Boston or state. Um, last year, we had Martha Coakley, mm -hmm. uh, who was campaigning, um, and we had uh, the year before that we had Mayor Menino. And so, I'm not sure who the who's on the agenda for this year, but typically, we hear from some excellent guest speakers. And from there, we and also uh, several youth from Boston and. Um, and, and New Bedford and um, Salem and Lynn uh, will have performances. They'll, you know, the, the different youth groups will perform. Mm -hmm. And then from there, we will head to, uh, from the Old South Church to the State House, which is about a mile walk. 
um, and, and that's typically when we get a lot of attraction from uh, the, the local businesses, the, you know, the skyscrapers with people on their camera phones looking down at, you know, what the heck is going on. And then from, you know, the signs, they can see exactly what the cause is. Um, then we will go to the state house in an organized manner, hopefully, um, and talk to some of our elected officials, our local elected officials, which I've arranged some meetings with. Okay, so local elected officials around here would be the state se state senator like Tom Kennedy and yep. the, three, the three state reps, Mike Brady, mm -hmm. um, Claire Cronin, and, and the new one, Michelle Dubois. Correct. Okay, and I know they're all advocates for youth and advocates for kids, so mm -hmm. um, is, is the governor expected to join you? Do you, do you I mean, at the state house, who, 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 so they go to, they, it's kind of like a, a, a lobby slash education day where they go and meet with the different reps. Exactly. Is there a gathering point at the state house or do they spread out to all the offices? There typically is, but uh, it's very chaotic once you get in there. Mm -hmm. So typically people are finding their, you know, their local elected officials uh, offices, which typically takes some time because it's a maze. The state house, it is a maze. Um, but there's usually in the, um, in one of the main lobbies, there is a, a presentation from Lou Finfer from Mass Communities Action Network. And, and other people to educate uh, young people on the process, the, bu the state budget process, mm -hmm. uh, so that they're uh, more well, in they're, they're well informed once they go in to meet with ele the elected officials, they can ask them questions about what they don't understand. And it's a learning experience for them too. How are the kids, uh, we've got a tiny bit of time left, how are the kids picked? Do they, they, they get selected from the Boys and Girls Club, from the schools, just quick? So uh, we have several community partners. So the uh, the Brockton Youth uh, Council, uh, Boys and Girls Club, and uh, Fan for Change this year is going to be joining us. So they will do their best to recruit any kid that's interested. It's during uh, February vacation, so anybody's able to come out. Uh, but. Uh, typically, the, the organizations themselves do the picking. Well, we're looking forward to following it. We'll uh, have a, a nice segment on it, follow-up, and we just want to let the community know about it. So great. thanks Can't for wait. doing what you're doing. And last real quick question, if anybody wants to get in touch with you, how would they do that best way? Uh, typically by phone, 508-584-3234, extension 10, or via email at amartin at baywib, B-A-W-I-B dot org. Perfect. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you very Andy. much. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.